What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl. And today I want to talk to you about some other, it's some other information that I have um, about this case of Oriana Myers and Brian Bumgarner and these children. Now we know that she left a confessional, okay? Some people are saying they that confessional is iffy. They feel as if something is not right with that confessional, but she had time. I feel like this was thought out. This is well thought out. This is something that she wanted to do if her husband did not do what he was supposed to do. Okay, so we do we found out that December 6th, he came to the house and he bought groceries. Okay. Um he stays with his family to alleviate some of the pressure of driving from his home to work every day because it's so far. Now, I don't know if they had a conversation. They're going to try and see what happens. And then maybe Oriana found out something else that Brian was doing while he was with his fa at his family's house. Maybe he had a girlfriend because on his Facebook book, which is now closed, said he was in a relationship with some girl named Jenny December 24th, 2020. Now, all of this happened on December 8th. He took them to groceries on December 6th. So something must have been going on. I think something made her snap. I don't know what it is because we don't have that information. We can only say allegedly that could have been it. He could have been talking to a young lady and she found out about it and it didn't do it didn't sit well with her because you got all these children. Okay, two that that's not even hers is there. And she's taking care of all these kids. She got three by him and two that's not hers so she took all their lives including hers okay she executed him, them in the house um we already know how she did it we don't want to go back into that and relive it but we already know and then she burned the house down and then she was found um 40 minutes later outside by the picnic area you know and she was gone and what i didn't know that four days later underneath all the debris they found the last kid they found four but they found the fifth kid under all that debris so i think this was well planned for her because of how the confessional was wrote and that it was signed oam now some people were saying that's kind of iffy why would they why would she sign her initials when we know that she was the one there. And I understand that. I understand that. Some stuff here looks kind of iffy. But like I said, we don't have a lot. The sheriff got a confession. Do you actually think they're going to investigate Brian? I don't know. I don't know if they did or whatever the case may be. But they, I know they played with, they used this confessional heavy. Okay. Fine. <sighs> she has mental health illness. Um, does her family know how much, how much of this did her family know of her going through this? Did she reach out to people and say, Hey, I need help. She says she did. She says she, no one is listening to her. No one helping her. So did her family reach, you know, did she reach out to her family? I would love to really talk to her family to find out what type of person she was before all of this happened. And then sometimes you can build from there. Okay, so Brian took to his Facebook page and said, thank you to everyone that was, you know, reaching out to him and everything. But, you know, um, he just feel like he's, he's in a really dark place right now. He's in a really dark place right now. And that's what he said on his Facebook page. Um, and I understand him being in a dark place because this is a lot to deal with. This is a lot to deal with. Okay, but... <clears throat> But you got to think about what made her snap, okay? And whatever it was, it still don't give her the right to take her to those children's lives, okay? I would have just said, listen, I'm going through something. I would have reached out to the kid's mother. Hey, I'm going through something. Can you please come get your children or whatever the case may be? But she had no right to take them children away from their, their mother, had no right at all. And this is what he said on his Facebook page. I just want to say sorry and thank you to everyone reaching out to me and messaging me. I can't get back to all of you right now, but I'm in a truly dark place at this time. I feel like I can fall and all of you guys would catch me. 
I it gives me something. I don't know what. Maybe hope or strength or maybe even grit. I don't know. All I know is I have something and that's not nothing. And he got like 50 comments underneath there and three shares. But his Facebook book is now closed. Okay. So that's what he put out. Now, let's talk about the children. Okay. The two oldest, the two children that didn't belong to Ariana. Let's talk about those children because the mother has something to say about that. And as she should. As she should. Okay. Okay. The two children who died also in the fire and also that was shot, um, they were from his first marriage, okay? And her name is Raven Frisbee, okay? So um, she wrote on Facebook referring to Myers, she murdered my babies, and now everyone knows it, okay? So here we go. According to the joint obituary for four of the children, um, Haken, Ken, and Arakal were Myers' biological sons, while Sean and Riley were her husband's children from his ma first marriage to Raven, Raven Frisbee, okay? Following the Thursday's press conference detailing the inf inst investigation into the murder-suicide, Frisbee wrote on her Facebook page, she murdered my babies, and now everyone knows it. I've been more than patient waiting for this day, and now that it's here, there is nothing that is going to stop me from being quiet. I fought for them while they were while they, excuse me while they were alive. I will continue to do so after. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. So she said she fought for her children and she will continue to fight for her children and I don't blame her. Um it doesn't say much here on why they were staying with um, Oriana and Brian. But my thing is, I really wish that if Oriana had these feelings, she should have just gave those children to the mom. That's what I think. She should have just gave those children to the mom. So now Raven, she has to go through all of this. You know what I'm saying? She has to... <sighs> deal with the pain of losing her children to because of someone else so everyone is hurting here everyone is hurting but i'm more sympathetic to, to raven because her children are here not by her hands but by someone else's hands by her ex-husband's wife her ex-husband wife you know and I don't know what the relationship, I don't know what Brian and Raven's relationship were. They didn't go into that. I don't know what type of beef they were having or even why the kids ended up with them. But she said she was fighting for her children and she's going to keep fighting for them. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> so it's, it's just really, it's just really, really, just really something. It is really something. You know, Ariana so much she was crying for help and no one was helping her and all that kind of stuff. And they also say also recovered from the vehicle where glass jar was a glass jar with a crystal and a cloth decorated with a spiral symbol. I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means. But Raven Frisbee is the birth mother to Sean and Riley. And she took to her Facebook and she said, she murdered my babies. And now everyone knows it. And she said, nothing's going to keep her quiet anymore. And I don't blame her. She, don't, she shouldn't have to be quiet. She needs to speak out. She needs to speak out. Mm -mm -mm. She said, I've been more than patient waiting for this day. And now... That is here, there is nothing going to keep me quiet. I fought for them while they were alive, and I will continue to do so. Sean was in second grade. Um, he, was at, uh, he was a student at Frankfurt Elementary, and he wanted to be an astronaut. Riley was in kindergarten, and he loved sports. Okay, He was also interested in music and was learning to play the piano and the ukulele. 
Oh my goodness. You know, my heart goes out to um, Raven. My condolences to you. Um, this is all the way around messed up. You know, those all these kids should be here, okay? Because this was really a this is an evil crime, and I know it has mental health playing into it, but there's something else that's deeper that's playing into this as well. There's always a cause before the effect happened. So what caused this to happen? What else? Yes, we know she was depressed and had mental health issues, Oriana, but what else happened? Okay? And why did she feel the need she had to take everybody out along with herself and then burn down the house? She said, she did say in a note, money will come and go, but there's no replacing me. So something was going on. So that's all I have for right now. If I come across anything else um, about this case or even the mom, Raven Frisbee, I will let you guys know. But something is not right. There's something else going on here. And it, it'll uncover sooner or later. It might not uncover today or tomorrow, but it will uncover. It always does. But something else is going on here. So let me know what your theories are. What do you think is going on here? And let me know. Be respectful, please, to each other. And I will talk to you guys later.